Oh, slicing these oh. little. Th oh, excuse oh, me. Yeah. Didn't yes. slice them pre -sliced, at all. Pre-sliced salsa, so sliced olives. Well, that's easy for you to it, say, it Mr. Johnson. Is. Mr. Johnson's having problems talking today. <laughs> I'm Larry Bly. I'm Laban Johnson. And, and we're, we're cooking, cooking cheap. cheap. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing. We can still do it. And frying beef and, and whatever. And doing all kinds of things. I got to tell you a funny story. Tell me a story. Today, uh, a bunch of the people that I used to work with before I retired took me out to lunch. <laughs> so um, it, it is uh, today, the, you know, the, uh, the 55th anniversary of my nativity. And Let's that, hear it for his birthday, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yeah. Double nickels, double Bye nickels. Five. Well, anyway, so they thought they would embarrass me. One and of the we guys went, was whistling at you. We huh? went to one of these really, you know, kind of uptown lunch places, uh, Mac and Maggie's, you know, out near your house. <laughs> and they brought all, you know, I don't like public displays of birth, you know, where they bring a cake in and all that. Well, of course, they did that to me, but... Beforehand, they bought, brought me this great big, huge bunch of happy birthday balloons, all swelled up about oh, this size. Oh, no, apiece. not those. And I had to take them to the table with me and had a little weight on the bottom and stand up. Now, don't tell me one of them got away and no. a cow choked on no, it. No, better that than That happens every uh -huh. time. That's better than that. Oh, okay. We're leaving, and they give me the balloons so I will have to carry them out and look like Bozo the Clown, you know, and everything. <laughs> so I'm going along holding the balloons like this, and I ran into an electric fan on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> it was truly funny. <laughs> Only one of them exploded, and I was able to get out with my life, but people were yelling, ah, no, no, no. Yes, indeed, the, a big bunch of helium balloons in a, in a ceiling fan. Mm, mm, worthy of the Three Stooges. Today, we are doing beef casserole. Oh, wait a minute. Let me tell you why. Uh, if we can have the witch come well, in. Oh, wait now. a minute. Wait. Oh, no. Here comes Doris up. with a birthday cake. Look, you have, have you? Well, I haven't seen that oh. many candles <laughs> since uh, what city burned down? I can't remember. But anyway, look, such breath control. Atlanta. Since Atlanta burned. Oh, don't tell me these are those fake candles. Doris, you've gotten those candles at Reek. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, look at that cake. Did you make that? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Doris made this lovely birthday tribute. Bless your heart. Well, Lord, put it away. Did you really? Yeah. Yes, look at that. She made roses and chicory blossoms. They're gorgeous. <laughs> It's just really wonderful. It, I'm just and so touched. And there she goes, ladies. <laughs> well, anyway, back to the show. <laughs> we never All right, bring got the witch in. The show. Send us the witch. Well, at least she didn't fly in your spoons. <laughs> there she goes. All right, let's see. And this will tell us why we're doing this show, because I pre-read it. Dear boys, Winston and I have a problem. We are filthy rich and have eaten out for years. We have a marvelous cook who works for us every day also. She insisted we write to you for casserole recipes we can use while entertaining our trashier friends. <laughs> can you help? <laughs> and it's time Mr. and Mrs. R. Winston Upsnort of Upsnort Rice family. Willow, Wisconsin. Oh, the Upsnort family. So they want, well, these or casseroles that, that are just about the low downs we can find. Well, I don't know. I'm doing a pizza casserole, and it seems like re right respectable to me. It sure did smell mighty nice, but it takes an awful lot of time. And I think it'd be cheaper and a lot easier to make a pizza. And uh, mine was sent in by Betty Mays of Salem, Virginia. Thank you, Betty. And it's a taco casserole, and it looks real good. I have to, uh, I have to fry, actually brown, a pound of beef, very lean, and I need to put some wide noodles. This calls for wide. These are hearty, hearty. laurel and hearty noodles. And I'm going to stick those in, and you fix them according to package instructions, which is about <coughs> 10 minutes or 8 <coughs> minutes al dente, for those of you who are keeping score. All right, and I've got a, now my hamburger meat, and there's just a pound of it in here. <coughs> And you know you could help yourself. I, I gotta drain it. So. Oh no. Oh, can you hold that bag? Uh, oh, hold what bag? Just open it up, so I can drain the grease into. You're gonna it. drain this down past my fingers? I, no, actually. I, well, it's so hot. I hate to put it in there and burn a hole in the concrete floor. Better your fingers in the floor, around here. It's just as well that you don't oh. have to see this. That's enough. 
All right. Well, I, you know, That's enough. I don't want to fill up the one artery that I have left. With, all right. Now, to this one pound, you have to add a package of taco mix. I guess you could use this any kind convenient. And if you were of Hispanic nature, you probably could make your own and not have to buy it in a mix. But I'm using up some of Marty's low down onions I found in his apartment this weekend. Mm -hmm. And they really are pretty horrible. I have to add some onion, which is not called for in the recipe uh, proper, but it says first thing, to fry with onions. So you'll you have know, to remember that. I wish we could tell all of you how funny it is to get the recipes that we get, and please keep sending them to us. But some of them mm, are a scream when you try to decipher stuff and you forget to put in ingredients Doesn't in. Doesn't say a thing about onions. First thing it says in the recipe is fry the beef with onions. So remember that. All right. So I'm gonna fry that with onions, and we're also gonna put a big old green pepper, just an ordinary pepper in there. A bell pepper. A bell pepper of the bell variety. So I'm going to do that. And you start frying, that's the first thing you do. Yes, Johnson? Well, you, now I have to open up a can of chicken broth. Of course, if you were real hoity-toity, you'd have your own made up, but we're not. And there's nothing wrong with it coming out of the can. And if you're salt sensitive, you can find many manufacturers now that have sodium free. Although it does make people in New York, when yes. they watch our show, very, very upset when they when we open cans right. on the air. That lady up there said we only knew how to open cans. Uh, well, She's out of business now. Yeah, and we're not. Uh, so that's two cups of chicken broth and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And Doris has used this lovely Tupperware. And is this pre-measured, Doris? So all I have to do is dump it in. She's a so pre-measured show. Uh-huh, getting all that together for me. We'll oh. have this stuff down pat before it's now, over. Yeah, let me see. Let me use a whisk here to whisk this baby up. This is uh, a quarter cup of flour and two cups of uh, chicken broth. And just whisk it up real good. And when it's all mixed up, add it to your meat with the taco seasoning in it. So that's all for that. Okay, I put the onions in there, now I'm gonna put peppers, the, whoa. Woo! There we go. That's highly odiferous. Mm -hmm. right. Rounding that stuff up real good. All right, now, my chicken broth and the flour will eventually, after this stuff comes to a boil, it will thicken. And you just have to trust yourself on this and let it come up to a boil, and it will get thick. In the meantime, I'm going to work on some other stuff that we need. Uh, we're going to have to put in some sour cream. That's a, a cup of sour cream. And, um, and how many, about eight or nine ounces of, seven ounces of, of chopped green chili peppers. These are the nice ones that are fire roasted. And I'm gonna use two cans because that's eight ounces and a little few more won't hurt anybody. Two cans, aren't those birds? Yes, they are. They have great big attractive beaks, <laughs> sort of like yourself. Grind so. up two two um, cans and put them in there. Yep. Your snoot is kind of red, too, from being out in the sun Look so at much. this. Look at this. Don't I have lovely parsley? Oh, did that come right out of your out yard of my again? my little herb garden, and I need to wash it. Mine is growing really well, too. Now, let me see. i got to get this lid open. I want to thank everybody that's been ah. sending us can openers and stuff. It's, it's been highly helpful. Now, let's see. This is coming. Let me turn this up a little bit here. And it's beginning to thicken up that flour. All those little pieces of flour have little hands like this, and they're clutched in fists. And when they get boiling, fiery hot, they just pop open like that, and they grab each other, and that holds the liquid together. That's what happens when this thickens up. What in the world are you talking about? Well, I was just telling people about the gluten and flour. Oh, gluten and But I didn't flour. want to confuse them. You know, I'm trying to talk to the simpletons in our audience. <laughs> gluten and flour.
<laughs> but you see how that's thickening up now? That's just perfect. So it's the gluten that causes it's it the to... It's uh, gluten. Now, of course, we'll get some agronomist from state, some state university that will call up and get highly offense at the very idea of us trying to explain something like that, but that's all right. I wonder if my noodles are al dente. Uh, I know your noodle is. Look at that head. My noodle has been soft for years. Oh, uh, all right, now there we well, go. Well, you know, they're slippery. All right, now I got to put in the two cans of, of minced chilies. No, they're not done yet. They won't stick on the wall. Uh, Remember when we used yes. to do that? Well, but it's better when you do it with spaghetti. You can't yeah. do it with noodles. They're not quite ready All yet. All right, now there's that can in. I'm gonna chop up a little of my parsley. Gosh, this is pretty parsley. I just love parsley. Pretty parsley. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something a parrot would say. I am right. shocked that so many Americans refuse to eat parsley because it is so wonderful. And that goes in there also. Well, I don't mind eating it. It just sometimes will give me a little indigestion. I need to pull that off. Something's ringing. What, what is that? I heard it too, but I don't know. I don't know. know what it is. It has thrown my pace off. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like an old race. It's horse something thing. that she brought along. You might know. What is it? Oh. Oh, Laban's is done. All right. In other words, well, Laban, I'll perhaps you isn't. should be moving in the direction of something or the other. Oh, no, I don't think so. Not yet. You see this line of pepperoni? <laughs> Take that and cut it in half. I'm going to do mine a little more than that. And then you need to separate them out. That takes more time than the rest of the recipe does. Just right, separate them out like that. that goes. Because you're going to throw that in there. This pepperoni is going to be wonderful, but I have a funny feeling it's going to make it a little greasy. It calls for an ungreased baking dish, much as this one. And I can understand why. Because with all this pepperoni in here, although the beef has cooked down totally dry, which is what you want, you want it to brown, and that'll keep it from getting too bad. But I've cut mine in a little bit smaller pieces than called for because I don't like great big old wads of pepperoni coming at me when I'm trying to eat. So you start, at this point we've pulled this down a little bit so it won't burn. And I now, in a few minutes I'll add the rest of the stuff that goes in here. Right. Now, Larry, and I'll tell you one thing, they won't get this thing clean for a year because <laughs> that stuff is baked in there. I'm going to add the pepperoni in there now. Put that in. Go ahead, Johnson. Now, you need an 11 ounce sack of tortilla chips and I'm just crushing them up a little bit. Yeah. And just, you dump them in the bottom of a third, half. half. <laughs> oh, these will be real now tasty. We know why, now we know why Doris gets paid, uh, you know, $60,000 uh, a year on this program because she yells half. Only use right. half of them Okay, later. well, there they are. They're on the bottom. <laughs> Were and you supposed to crush those up or anything? I, Larry, yes. I don't know. Oh, okay, nervous. i got to add something before this burns, which I think, <laughs> whoops, too late. i got to add a whole can of tomato sauce. That tomato is sauce. Uh, 15 ounces. And I thought this was a little heavy-handed, but, but then what isn't these days? You, you have to take a whole can of tomato paste. Normally, you would, in a recipe like this, you'd think you'd only use like a tablespoonful. Oh, was, Doris, let me get over here. And, oh, don't be, you'll burn put yourself. Put the whole can in there. Oh, listen yes. to them back there having a real problem Oh, well, problem Doris was about to go up. Doris, have you checked mine to see if mine is burning? Oh, okay. I got to tell you, this is the first thing we've ever cooked on this show that actually baked right in advance. <laughs> so anyway, that goes in there. Mix that all around. Tomato paste. That's a lot of tomato paste. That sounds like you're trying to get them to do the hokey pokey while they're cooking. Oh, don't cooking. mention the hokey pokey. I know we'll you'll have get to pay that trouble. man for rights. Larry, yours isn't quite right yet. <laughs> it isn't likely to be uh -huh. anytime soon. You want to have a thing. Well, yeah, that yeah. all goes in there. I'm going to cut this down because there's just no need for it to be turned on at this point. We add sliced ripe olives. B 
best to just buy them in the can. There's nothing can be accomplished by standing around slicing olives. I'm sorry, there are just some things in life that aren't worth. A bunch of people were talking to party the other night about how good that minced, pre-minced garlic stuff mm -hmm. is. Did you get in the can? Yeah, it's good I, stuff. I use it. It just, is. You know, it's close to the real thing as you can get without well, actually it is doing real. it. Well, I know right. it is really, but you know. But Whatever. you just don't have to stand there and stick your Don't have to stand there and chop it all day, and that's wonderful. Anything that's a convenience. I need to add Italian seasoning. I think two teaspoons of dried Italian seasoning at this point. Oh, it's all right, Doris. Don't knock yourself out. I'll just, I'll just come up with something here. Well, I have to have a half a cup that's of two. chopped green onions, so that's what I'm doing right now. I think that's enough. Point. I'm going to uh, give my recipe, is that okay? Yes, why don't you do that? Why don't I do that while I'm mixing all this final hoo-ha in there. Seven ounces, four cups of uncooked wide egg noodles. A half pound of lean ground beef. Don't forget your onion, you, de you need yeah. one. It's not listed, but it, it calls for it. Cup of chopped green bell pepper, two teaspoons dried Italian seasoning, which I just added. One package of pepperoni slices halved, one can of sliced ripe olives, that's one of those little bitty ones drained, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, six ounce can of tomato paste, eight ounces, that's two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Ah! Oh, I'm so glad I read that, that's gotta go in. And some chopped fresh parsley also. Listen to Harold back there laughing. <laughs> two bags of pre-done mozzarella. You put one in and you mix it in and you save another little bag similar to that, which we will put on top later on. So you fold this in at this point. All right. Woo! So we're <laughs> <laughs> I just shot green onions from here to Dixie. All right, I've got a, uh, in my recipe, I've got to uh, chop or dice up some cheddar or you can use Monterey Jack and we're using cheddar today and just grate it up, you need about... Is that mine? Because I have uh -huh. to be somewhere in eight minutes. Oh, so, get you know. out of here. <laughs> so I'm... Oh, Lord, Doris, I'm uh. getting tired just from uh -oh. grating the cheese. We'll need to call in this. So you want me to do it? You want me to do it? No, that's all right. Now I'm standing I I by. Oh, my noodles have gone too long. Yes. Now we're going to have soppy noodles. Well, Let here, me... just grate my cheese while you're doing the noodles, <laughs> drain too. Drain my noodles. They got to drain those babies. Here, in a colander. Doris is going to do it. The lovely Doris yeah. has been called in, okay, ladies and gentlemen, yes. to help all right, us out now, on I've got all sound my, stage number two. About five or six ounces of chips, and I'm going to put half of this oozy goozy mixture with the hamburger and everything into here. And Doris and I have discovered an error in this recipe, and we're going to correct it. But um, what they leave out? Salsa. <laughs> so we're well, going yeah, right. to put it in. Now we've got half of the mixture there, and now we're going to put in um, some the salsa. Here it is right here. We're going to put in about half a cup of salsa. Is this mild salsa, or it, is this... I don't know. What is it, Doris? Is it, is it heavy-duty salsa? Is it mild? Would it be better if we put in the snappy peppy kind? <laughs> Yeah. You know, I don't care for it when it's real hot. I don't either. I've gotten to the age where everything just kind of comes back on me. Uh-huh. It's just all right, now you put in half the salsa and Well, I'm sorry. Half I'm, of the green I'm over thirty and things onions uh, and we're gonna spread all of this in like that. Do we put in some cheese? A bunch all of all of the cheese here today. All right. Spread the cheese. There it goes. Doris kindly came in and saved me. That's okay. You know, it's funny, just a little stuff like that. Just I get out of breath. I need to add my noodles to this mess, right. ladies and gentlemen. You take your All noodles right. now, drain them. Oh, did you hear that noodle hit that stuff? Uh huh. Do we put in? We don't put any more chips in. Do we? Oh, we did another. And you mix all this stuff up at this point. Mix the noodles and what the did goop I do with those other chips here? Then? All that stuff mixed up. And as you can see, you better start out with a fairly large pan because you'll be in trouble like I was yesterday. And I had to move it all to something else. Yeah, this needs a. This is a nine by thirteen baking pan, and it will take every bit of it. And now you put in the other. 
load well, that's of That's a great long recipe. Yes, it is. But Doesn't this is matter. enough for, you know, four, five, six people. So depending on how hungry they are and what else you're serving. And this would actually be a great casserole, either one of these for a party. Yep, that's for sure. All right, now put that in. And now we put in the rest of the salsa. And hopefully you're going to tell us what's in this mess. Yes. Right uh, oh, I haven't done that, have I? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. I have got in this recipe from Betty Mayers in Salem, Virginia, a pound of lean ground beef, one package of Lowry's Taco Spices and Seasonings, two cups of chicken broth, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of dairy sour cream, one seven-ounce can of diced green chilies, one 11-ounce package of corn or tortilla chips, two cups of grated Monterey Jack or cheddar cheese, and a half a cup of sliced green onions with the tops. So I'm going to put the rest of the green onions on here. Of course, I did have a little cooking accident over here, and they did go a long distance. But Is this going to be over soon, Mr. Johnson? Yes, and then you sprinkle more of this on it and put it in the oven and bake it for about 20 minutes at 350, and then you have to let it stand about four minutes before you try to serve it. Didn't take this long to rebuild Atlanta. Well, <laughs> Can I finish this recipe? Yes. Okay, take this. I'm trying to be nice. And turn this into a great big old bacon dish, and you don't have to put any grease in it because I think that with the hamburger and with the uh, all the other stuff that's in there, it'll it'll be just fine. And what you do once you do that is you take the rest of your cheese and put it on top and spread it around, and you bake it at 350 <laughs> degrees for 25 to 35 oh, minutes. Oh no, I've knocked the pig cockeyed. <laughs> and when it gets finished, it looks like this. It looks, looks like tomatoes. It looks like that. Pretty much like it did when it went in, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's hot. We'll get it over here. All right, well, let me give you a... Now, how am I gonna get... Well, wait a minute, you, this you has gotta go on something. Well, it's red hot. That's, That's where it's going to stay, ladies and gentlemen. I can't hold it anymore, and I don't have anything oh. to... Well, just run on down the hall. It's a little room with a man on it. I don't even have anything to dip it with. <laughs> now you're on my bike cord. <laughs> Your chair has gotten it. Thank you. The indignities of the cooking cheap. Oh, it's just terrible. Here, have some of this. I'm afraid I'm going to sit down in this and go all the way to China. This chair is getting... Rickety, but then well, this looks real pretty and smells good too. I think yours will probably be a little more exciting than mine. Yeah, let's <clears> see. I'll try yours and you try mine. Where in the world did I pick that up? <laughs> what? I don't know. Have you got the pink eye again? <laughs> <laughs> pink eye. You don't hear much about no, that anymore. When don't. I went to school, that was a big problem. Now, there were a few others we won't talk about. But anyway, now, is, now what's this stuff? It's a taco casserole, and yours is a pizza casserole, and tastes exactly like pizza. I like the taco casserole. I do, Laban. I think that's a well. Real, both of these seem to be right good. Let a me try. real good little recipe, and you know the kids would like it. I think they mm. would. Mmm. 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 Now chew your food. I am. We have lots of time. <laughs> oh, I need For my For once, <laughs> we have time to chew twenty times. These are really every good. Every single bite. Mmm. 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 Oh, thank you for sending these recipes in and keep them coming. Mine was from the unknown viewer. We seem to have a lot of those. Well, there's some people out there for some reason that are just so afraid of having their name on public television where well, you, you know, can be that's... labeled bad words. And <laughs> <laughs> because and we've had so many of our viewers sued down the Right, the right. <laughs> no, or, or ambushed or <laughs> other terrible things. Mm. But anyway, yeah, we get a lot of recipes anonymous. That pizza stuff is good. I do like it. And the uh, that's this, gonna be a big hit with uh, the taco staff. casserole is wonderful. You know, this will be is a, zippy. This will be a big hit with the staff because you know all they eat is pizza around right. here. They don't know what real food is. Well, you know they cut their coupons out, and that's mm -hmm. all they can afford. You that's know, true. It's terrible. Things have come to that. Well, and the birthday cake. Yes. Bring the birthday cake back out. We oh. need the birthday cake. Just go, Doris. Don't get under oh. the camera. Just do it, baby. Oh. She's afraid she's going to be seen she on camera. Is. Can you believe that? Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, 
for your felicitations at my I birthday. Your I didn't know you were allowed to say that on television. Oh. And thank you, one and all. Happy birthday to you. Birthday, dear Laban. Happy birthday to you. What a calcophonous birthday. With pizza casserole. <laughs> well, thank you. And these uh, we're are these the edible candles? <laughs> this is a great looking meal. Yes. They Both are the edible good. candles. They are the edible cameras. Candles. Edible cambers, too, I might add. Mm.